guys welcome back to learning with isha we are talking about growth in plants we know growth in plants is influenced by two different kind of factors one are the environmental external or the extrinsic factors these include factors like sunlight water availability nutrient availability as we have already discussed the second group of factors are the internal factors of the plant also known as the intrinsic factors there are two main intrinsic factors first is the genetic makeup of the plant the genetics of the plant so that is going to determine how much the plant can grow the second important factor is what we are discussing in today's video a group of compounds known as phytohormones they are synthesized in the plant body and cause the plant to grow in a certain way so let's begin phytohormones literally plant hormones are also known as plant growth substances or often also called as plant growth regulators but this is a misleading word plant growth regulators are different from what we know as phytohormones phytohormones are synthesized in the plant body itself so plant will be making these molecules inside of its body plant growth substances are manufactured in factories or labs by us so they are synthetic molecules phytohormones are naturally made in the plant body whereas plant growth regulators are synthetic molecules but often these words are used interchangeably so what are the features of these phytohormones number 1 they are small sized molecules so they are small sized second they are organic compounds also we know that they are synthesized in the plant body at a specific location so they are synthesized in the plant body at specific location but they go on to act at a different location from where they are synthesized an example would be of the auxins let's say the shoot tip synthesizes the auxins but the auxin acts pra practically all over the plant body it helps in flowering fruit formation and many other functions that we are going to look subsequently so they act at different locations from where they are synthesized now to make the study easy we have classified these phytohormones on several parameters first classification is based on the function these phytohormones perform one function could be of promoting plant growth in this case they are known as plant growth promoters the second function could be of inhibiting stopping plant growth in that case they are known as plant growth inhibitors so if we have to promote plants growth what could be active the activities involved first there is going to be an increased cell division so that the number of cells increases second there is going to be cell enlargement so that the size of the cells also increases besides that tropic growth is the response of uh, of the plant that is the plant grows towards a stimuli phototropic growth is the situation in which the shoots grow towards sunlight and the roots grow away from sunlight it is commonly observed in the case of sunflower that moves as the direction of the sunlight changes so we we'll look more about this in the upcoming videos it also promotes flowering fruiting and seed formation so the plant growth promoters include auxins gibberellic acid commonly known as gibberellins and also cytokinins now moving on to inhibitors the most common inhibitor is abscisic acid commonly written as aba how does it act well it is known as the stress hormone it helps the plant respond to stress let's say stress could be lack of water or drought like condition or increased salinity that is increased salt content in the soil so to such situations abscisic acid is going to help the plant to respond in a better way 
it induces seed dormancy another way of classifying these phytohormones could be based on the chemical composition based on the compounds from which they are derived so number one they could be indole derivatives well indole is an aromatic heterocyclic compound having the formula c8h7n so from this compound whichever uh, phytohormones would be de derived would fall into this group the most common example is IAA. IAA that stands for indole 3 acetic acid. So the phytohormone that comes here is basically your auxin. Now second, your phytohormones could be adenine derivatives that is purine derivatives. Adenine is a nitrogenous base that is also found in the DNA. So the phytohormone for, that falls in this category are your cytokinins. Third classification is compounds that are terpene derivatives. Well, terpenes are hydrocarbons having the formula C5H8N, where N has any value greater than or equal to 2. So where are terpenes found? Well, they are important building blocks in the biological system. They provide all the aromas and smells that we see around in the plant body. So these terpene derivatives include gibberellic acid, the gibberellins. Now the next group is carotenoid derivatives. Well, carotenoids are those pigments like carotene and all that are found in carrot, pumpkin and they're responsible for the colors that we see in the fruits and vegetables. So the phytohormones derived from this are abscisic acid. And lastly, the phytohormones could also be gaseous. An example is ethylene. Well, ethylene. Ethylene. Well, is it a plant growth promoter or an inhibitor? It can be classified in both the categories. At some place, it has promoting activities. But mainly, it is considered in the category of inhibitor along with abscisic acid. So that was all for today's video. In the next video, we are going to start talking about each of these phytohormones in detail. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. See you.